start with 64 teams in the tournament. You move to 32 teams because 32 teams embrace the fact that they want to move on. Every time you take that step, the best of the best, the special teams that embrace these moments get to advance. 16 teams get to advance out of here. The team that wants it more, that embraces it more, is going to be the team that advances tonight. Lauren, you know, uh, I'm so happy and proud for her. I mean, uh, she was a huge boost for us in this game. It's always um, different this time of year. Um, I feel like I have to go out and play for my seniors. Um, Coach B and my teammates told me to come into the game confident, um, and that's exactly what I did. You know, it was a, an extremely physical game inside in the paint. Um, when you talk about, you know, just the big play of Alicia Devon, Brianna Jones. Uh, Melina Howard, uh, you know, uh, you know, giving us a huge presence inside. I was just so happy she got the M1. We usually, we usually go down the, the bench. We try to, we try to plan a routine of what dance we're going to do. We all had, like, all did the same thing. But I'm usually the one that's always off, so I kind of just do my own little thing. <laughs> obviously, you know, AT's will to win. You know, I think. Um, obviously, the first half they had a really good game plan against her. They were tied at half, and she hadn't scored a point. You know, I can't remember the last time I've seen um, going in at halftime with her no, with no points. I um, wasn't worried about it at all. Um, you know, my teammates had faith in me. They they knew that um, they I, I wouldn't be shut out the whole entire game. Um, At was At in the second half. She took over. And um, her, you know, will to win uh, was tremendous to be able to to watch. She just, she wants to win, and so when, and I feel like she's not really a really vocal leader. But like I feel like for me, I know for me, if I see her fighting, I'm like, okay, I want to, I'm, I'm trying to fight too. I'm gonna fight for her because she's dominant before she's giving up her body. Let me, what can I do to help her out? It was last game in Comcast, and it's my last shot at um, a national championship, so um, I wasn't going to be denied. <laughs> um, this is this is it, you know. No one remembers how you you finish in the regular season. It's all about how you finish in this tournament. So um, this is this is where the best basketball is played, and what you look forward to for the season. Any, any uh, anxiety at the end? I mean, they knocked down all those threes, even bank one in there, you know, and then you guys have that of the timeout, you know, you have the turnover and they cut it to one. I mean, what, what, what do you guys say in that last huddle coming out for the, you know, to, to get up another score and make something happen? Um, that we were just fine. Um, you know, we, we knew we all had to be on the same page. We knew we, we needed to communicate out there. And it was all about getting the stop and everybody was locked in and, and that's what we did, got to stop. You know, the, the, that play with Lauren at the end was huge. She got that rebound at the end. Um, they had to follow her and stepped up and made, you know, two huge free throws to be able to widen the gap for us. Andrew P. Shea, S-H-A-Y, I work for Penn Live and the Patriot News in Harrisburg. What did I see tonight? Well, I mean, I probably covered her 40, 50, 60 times in her high school career and she never walks off the floor. You know, whether she does an interview or whatever, she always runs off the floor. And I found it very interesting tonight, being her last game at Comcast Center, she actually stopped and walked across the floor. She knew that that was the moment. We're wearing that uniform that she's so proud of and she adores so much. She knew that she wouldn't put it on in this building ever again at this, you know, at the University of Maryland in the Comcast Center. And she soaked it in, which is rare for her to do that. She's so unselfish. It's very rare for her to take a moment for herself like that. He said to her, when she was a freshman, that she was the best freshman I've ever seen played. And then the night I told her, you, I was right that you were the best freshman. And look how good you really got. And I'm going to watch her in the WNBA play, and I sure will. <laughs> Just a great player. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think about your daughter tonight? Oh, I'm so really proud of her. She worked so hard. and. Way back in high school, she had like she was going to be a coach back then. <laughs> when she'd come home from a game, she'd always say, you know, we'd go over the game and discuss it. And I'm really proud of her, what she's done. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, 
think we just all have a lot of character and we were all really excited and so people who don't normally dance we're just excited because I mean this is a big thing we've been working so hard this season and we're just really excited to be going to the Sweet 16 and I think that it showed in our dance we were just really pumped. Uh, you know, the dance was impromptu. I mean, uh, the music was blaring, you know, the, the, the team was having a great time, and um, as a coaching staff, we all wanted to go in and, and celebrate with them. What's it mean to wrap up your Comcast career with the W? <laughs> it means a lot. I mean, you know, the fans here, are the noise that we had, the atmosphere we had, it was just great. It was a great environment. Um, I'm happy to leave with a win. We are Maryland, no question. Um, to be able to see the grit and the toughness and, and, and how we played as a team, you could say our game tonight um, really sums up our slogan in, in terms of who we are, how we play for each other, and uh, you know, it was a big reason for, for us to be able to move on.